Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare at Code UK, and today we're going to create a contact form in Bootstrap Studio and get it to send an email to your email account. This is formspree.io, and if you click on test it out now with your email, that will take you through to testformspree.com. So in here, you can put your email address to test it out. This is going to show you the potential of what we have here. So let's go to mailinator.com and create a, a random email address. I will do form spree. Okay, so I've got myself an email address and it's called formspree at mailinator.com. So I'm going to put this in here. So this could be your email address. So I'm just going to do formspree at mailinator.com. Now, I'm going to send myself an email. So this is me saying that this is my email address. So I could be any random person. So I could be bob at test.com. Let's do that, bob at test.com. So this is saying it's coming from bob at test.com. Hello, this is Bob. What's happening here is this is the markup that's created this form here on the right. So the whole point of this is that you, we are going to be able to get an email that will go through to formspree at mailinator.com. This is the inbox for formspree at mailinator.com. If I hit send on this now, it will say I need to say that I'm not a robot. And it might need me to verify it. It hasn't needed me to verify it. If I go through to here, new submission from test formspree. And that was it. Easy as that. I've now got an email through to my email address. It just so happens that my email address was formsbury at mailinator.com. Yours could be any, any email address. So that is how you do it. It's as simple as that. So we just need some markup similar to this. So let's go to Bootstrap Studio and create ourselves a contact form. So create a new design. And I'm going to call it contact form. I'll do a blank one, create. And then in here, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to look for contact form clean. Right, so we're in um, Bootstrap Studio. We've added the contact form that they give you on here, straight on there. We've got name, email address, and message. So formsbree.io is saying that if you have an input, which is the type of email and the name email and the placeholder your email like that. So we've got this, that's fine. So let's just have a look at this and just see um, if we can see the code. Right, so we can see the code here. So the name is email, that's good. Name is name on that one. And the name is message on that one. So let's see on this message as well. So with HTML forms, um, it needs the name um, on these inputs so that it can um, identify that when it passes it on to whatever is expecting it. So with the name of email and message, I think this is going to work. All I need to do is just put in this method of post and the action. So if I just copy this here, actually the whole opening form tag, and then go back into here, where I've got this form methods post, I'm gonna right click on form and do convert to HTML. Then I'm gonna edit this HTML. I'm gonna right click on custom code and do edit code. Now by doing that, I've got this one open over here. So I can actually edit this code, save that, I'm going to call this contact form. Yeah, that's fine. So I've done control S and that made me save in Bootstrap Studio. I've got all that set up now. So in theory, we can preview this and test it out. So click on preview. Preview is enabled now. And then I can just open one of these in the browser. I've got my contact form. So let's go ahead, do Paul Seal. And my email address, I'm just going to do test at bob.com. 
this is a test message. Now what we want to do is we want to see what happens here. So click on send. It's saying confirm your email. We've sent the link to your email. Right, so this has gone through to the email address that we're trying to submit to, which is the Mailinator email address. So let's go back to Mailinator. And if we go to the inbox, confirm email. Thanks for using Formspree. You're one step away. So I just need to confirm that. So that's all fine. So I'll go back to Mailinator, go back to my inbox, Formspree. And I've got a new submission. And here we go. We've got name, Paul Seal. Email, test.bob.com. Message, this is a test message. So what we've done there is we've used Bootstrap Studio to create a contact form and send an email. It's totally free, really easy, and all we had to do was convert the contact form part to HTML, then right click on the custom code and edit the code. And then from formspree.io, we, all we had to do was copy this little bit here, paste that in here, save that and then preview in the browser and it's done and depending on where you're running this from you just might need to confirm your email address so because i was running it from my local machine uh, on this um, browser like this so running off this here um, it's seeing it running off this port so when it runs off a different url it just needs you to confirm your email address so that it's not spam so that's it. It works. It's easy and um, just a simple way to send emails using a static website and this. Now, a couple of caveats. Obviously, this is going to have a form and in the form it has got your in the action of the form, which really you're not. I mean, you don't really see it. So let's just um, go back to the preview again. So on the front end, the user doesn't really see your email address of where it's going to. But in theory, a site could scrape, you know, there could be a robot that goes through and could pick up email addresses from form actions. And they could be looking for this sort of thing. So in theory, they could pick up your email address from that. That's one thing to note. Also, another thing to note is that this is actually submitting your de uh, the details that someone entered on this form is going off to this external service, Formsbury they are then passing this email over to you. So in theory, they're receiving all that information from that form. So as long as you're comfortable with that and it's a convenient service, you're happy with that. If you've got any concerns, just read through their details. Um, I think it's set up by a bunch of developers that had this problem themselves and thought, well, we can help other people out. It's free for, the, um, for this level of account. And as with all good services, you can actually um, set up for a gold plan. So on the free plan, you get a 1,000 submissions per email address per month. I mean, that is pretty good. If you've just got a small blog, something simple, you're probably not going to get that many emails anyway. And um, it prevents spam by using the um, Google recapture thing as well. So it's, I think it's fair enough for a free service. So that's it. So for my YouTube viewers, um, if you like the video, please click on like. If you're watching this on Twitch, uh, please follow me. Uh, feel free to leave comments. Um, give me any feedback. Um, I'm going to save this video and put it onto YouTube now. Uh, yeah, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, um, and leave comments and share the video with others. And um, I hope to do more videos for you in the future. All right, thanks a lot.